Hello, I'm Neil Stratton with Inside the League, and this is the inaugural edition of How Not to Get Fired. With just under two weeks left until the draft, we've been in the toughest part of the year for agents. It's a time when all the hay is in the barn. Your client's done training and testing, and so now he has a lot of time to call you and ask you what you've heard. This is especially true if your client isn't a lock to be drafted and looks like a better bet as a camp free agent. It can be pretty nerve wracking, so here are a couple of tips to help you get through until the last weekend in April. Number one, research what teams are most welcoming to undrafted free agents. There's a perception that the worst teams are the best ones for undrafted free agents, but nothing could be further from the truth. Colts, for example, went to a Super Bowl in 2010 with one of the highest numbers of undrafted free agents on its roster as any team in the league. Last Friday, we posted a grid comparing the 32 teams and detailing which ones are the most UFA friendly. So check that out if you're an ITO client. Number two, call as many NFL teams as you can, ask the director of college scouting, and make sure your client's contact information is up to date. It's a legitimate reason to cold call a team and get a conversation started about your client. And it never hurts to put your guy in the front of the team's mind in April. Number three, research teams to find out who has scouts and executives with the same alma mater as your client. New Orleans running back Pierre Thomas is one example of a player who was only signed as an undrafted free agent because he had a former coach on staff with the Saints. A more recent example is Houston linebacker Brian Brayman, who made the Texans 53 last August in part because one of his former coaches at West Texas A&M was on staff. Number four, encourage your client to interview financial planners. I know, I know, most players who fit into the latter rounds of the draft are too focused on just getting drafted to worry about what they'll do with their money. Frame this as an opportunity to develop more resources for getting into the league. Financial planners know money, but some of them also know scouts, team executives, or players who can give them more information or insight on how to make a roster. And finally, number five, here, have past clients talk to present clients. Players love talking to players, especially ones with league experience or who've been through the draft process. Use your most loyal clients as resources that help you build your practice. Hopefully these five tips will help you get through the next couple weeks without tearing your hair out. This has been Neil Stratton for Inside the League.